Welcome to story time. This is our arts and crafts portion of today. And we are celebrating Black History Month with this really cool craft inspired by Alma Woodsy Thomas. She was, let me show you a picture of her that someone oil painted a picture of her. That's a picture of her. And she was born in 1891 and she died in 1978. But she is now recognized as a major American painter of the 20th century. And she was an African American artist and teacher who lived and worked in Washington, DC. Now she retired from teaching after being a teacher for 35 years. And then she went back to school and she was the first African American woman, but actually of any woman, she was the first one in the, in the United States to get a degree in art. So after that happened, she, uh, and that, she went to Howard University, that was her school, in the art department. So that was really a major thing. Now, later on, her works of art have sold for over $2.6 million. And I want to show you some of her artwork because this is what our craft is going to be about today. And you're going to love it. Now, I want to show you up close really quick. Do you see this one that looks like a circle? She does a lot of these circle ones and they call them Snoopy paintings. Not Snoopy the dog, but Snoopy because back then there was a lot of stuff happening, um, you know, in, in outer space and any kind of space vehicle they called Snoopy. I don't know. So it's kind of stuck. Now she also did watercolors and oil paintings and sculptures and she was just super cool. So kids, let's say you're doing something your whole life. And then you get old and you want to change what you're doing. You can change what you're doing and do something new. These are some of Alma's artwork. Oh, confetti. Even though her artwork that we're going to be doing today was um, on canvas with acrylic painting, her pictures, if you kind of squint your eyes, they kind of look like torn paper. And that's how we're going to make our paper craft today, is using torn paper. Ah. And there's a lot. There's, you, you can Google her, there's so much artwork. It's so pretty. And today we are celebrating Alma Thomas. Oh, here's another one. See, it kind of looks like mosaic tiles, but it's there's just so many things you can do. So I'm going to show you one that I started. I tried to start doing a circle one, a Snoopy one. Um, and what happened is I kind of had a traffic jam with the colors over here. I didn't finish this one yet. And that's okay, because are we trying to be perfect? Is artwork perfect? You know, all we can do is the best we can do, and we can always try harder. But trying to do something perfect all the time is going to make you a little cuckoo bird. Okay, so what I want you to do is come to your Ponchatoula branch, and you're going to pick up your craft packet. And when you open it, you're going to have all these pages in there. Now you're going to have yellow, you're going to have orange, red, purple, ah, I washed my hands, don't worry, purple, <laughs> blue, green, you've got all your rainbow colors, and this is cardstock. See, it's kind of harder than your paper. Do not tear this up because you're going to be sticking your color paper on here with a stick of glue. Okay, so to begin, 
This is the fun part. You guys ready? You're going to take your paper and you don't need anything but your hands. Okay, here comes the magic. You're going to rip it. Rip and rip it and rip it some more and rip it some more. And it can be any shape. It doesn't matter. You're just going to rip your paper up into tiny little pieces. They're still kind of big, so now we're going to rip it the other way. Rip it. Confetti. We're making a mess, but it's just paper, and that's good. Isn't that fun? It's like a rainbow confetti. Ooh. Speaking of rainbows, did you know that rainbows can go in a circle? Let me show you. <laughs> I looked this up on the internet. And it says here that rainbows can make a full circle if you're high enough in the air. Because you know how a rainbow is like half of a circle? That's because the horizon gets in the way and it blocks the rest of it. But if you're really, really high up in the air in an airplane, really, really high up there, the rainbow will make an entire circle. And that's sort of what I tried to do with this paper I tried to make a rainbow circle, but I'm going to try something different. So once you have all your paper ripped up real good, you're going to get your glue. Ooh. <sighs> and we're going to start gluing onto our piece of cardstock. So don't rip up your cardstock. Now, I wanted to just show you too, if you don't want to do a rainbow circle, it looks like here she did a mountain with a sunset. And this is just the stripes of color. And this is kind of like a triangle. You can make it any way you want. I think I might try stripes. So, I'm so glad you're here today. I'm going to sing you a song. It's going to go like this. Take your paper and glue it up. Stick it down. Do it again. Take your paper and glue it up. And stick it down. It's gravy. Oh, yeah. Take your other paper and glue it up. Stick it down. Go to town. Take your paper, glue it up, stick it down. There's no frowning in paper. <laughs> Take your paper and glue it some more and stick it wherever you want to. Now let's see, how fast can I work? I don't know. Oh dear. But at home you can take as long as you want. Now I want to tell you, this paper took me an an hour, maybe over an hour to do. But this one, it might be faster. I was going to do stripes all the way down. But you can choose any design you want to make. And that's why it's so fun, because it's yours. And you can be your own Alma Thomas. You can be your own artist. You can be you and have fun and keep ripping the paper. I hope you had a great time doing arts and crafts. And have a wonderful, super magical day. Goodbye.